why you should use rye stones. First of all, they're hard to steal. Second, you can't overspend them. Apples, 15 ton stone, please. Aw, oh, but only carry one ton. Doubles as a form of transportation. Here he is on this little ramp, and boom, strapped him in. This little guy's gonna go 15 miles all for free. Now, of course, these were real-life things manufactured and treasured by inhabitants in Micronesia. Just shows you can build a currency out of anything. Another McDonald's? Seriously? Isn't our world fat enough? Stop being small-minded. I'm working Working towards world peace. Did you know two countries with McDonald's have never declared war? It's a fact. McDonald's brings enemies together. Look for yourself, dude. <gasps> On guard. <coughs> Make fight like old times. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> no one wants to fight if they have diabetes. I am rebelling. Oh yeah? Well, I dare you. Just look at all the backing I have. You think you're the only one having backing? Well, I have allies as well. What the fuck? Oh, this is a key little detail. The USSR is in this panel, which means this was still during the Cold War. I remember reading about this. It's very strange. Yeah, France and Germany was on one side with China, Israel, and the Pope. And then the USA, USSR, and Britain were all on one side. And Israel's on this one too. What the fuck? But yeah, I've heard this talked about many times. The Nigerian Civil War was nuts. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but okay. La la la. Going to harass Quebec. La la la. Canada. There's something I need to tell you. What is it, Stacy? Dad likes men. Really? I highly doubt that. Even if he was, I'm sure he'd keep that a lockdown secret. See, that's the thing. He straight up told me he was. He told me with a straight face he was watching BBC. Oh. Yeah, a lot of people in that country like to watch that. Kind of sus. Russia is now done, your bass puny Ukraine. Oh no. We stand with Ukraine! We stand with Ukraine. Is true? You help me bring kill to Russia? Well, uh... Hmm. Okay, what are they actually doing? Are they standing around or are they calling their bluff? I'm getting two different opinions here. Kiribati says, Ha ha! After all these years of science research, am finally able to perfect the machine for time traveling. Now let's try this bad boy out. Hey, uh, Norway? Have you talked with anyone today? No, Australia, I haven't. Why do you look nervous? No one? Well, that's a huge relief. Anyways, Norway, I can proudly say that I am more developed country than you. What? You're more developed than me? Let me give you 45 reasons why I am more developed than you ever is. Number one. <laughs> Greetings. I'm a time traveler from the future. Here to deliver your people a message. Message? What message? Just want to tell you, Clays, that I am the most developed clay in the world. No, don't you dare say it. Because you people live in the past. Happy 2022. The island of Kiribati, out here in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, is apparently the first country to go into the new year because of its interesting position in the time zone thing. Apparently, specifically, it's the Line Islands and then Tonga are the first places, which explains the whole meaning behind Tonga. Time. But Kiribati only has about a hundred thousand people living in it, which is why we really hear the flexes mostly from New Zealand and Australia. Damn, I need to burn more calories. Why not literally burn them away with fire? You're freaking genius, Holland. The frick? Are you dumb? This is a completely ridiculous idea, says Germany. Come on, what's the worst that could happen? You dying horribly in flaming agony. Oh, well, when you put it like that, then... And this would be very inconvenient because we'd have to clean your filthy, disgusting body from the street. Oh, looks like they, uh, they did it. Anyways, and Germany's still gonna have to do that. But wow, the USA is really trimmed down. They're probably weighing like zero pounds. It's Oshless time. Czechoslovakia and Poland ran away. Ah! <gasps> Poland, how can we escape Germany? I, I, I think I have an idea. Later. Where is Poland? Asks Nona Germany. <laughs> Poland, you're a genius. <laughs> now we will never be invaded again. All the while, the land of the rising sun rising behind them. Czechoslovakia and Poland turned into the Philippines and Indonesia. That doesn't work out too well either. Meet the new boss, same as the old one. Russia, strong as a tank comes slapping down Ukraine. Russia, what? I'm giving you sanctions for bullying Ukraine. Russia, do nothing wrong. Sanctions will make you stop buying tanks for bullying. Two weeks later, here is the monies for gas, Russia. Go buy yourself something nice. Nice. Thank you, Germany. Just gotta threaten that gas and everything goes back to normal. Hmm, what if Russia makes little trick with gas prices so EU can into talk to me again? Ha, huh, what possibly can go bad with it? Maybe if prices make into the stable things, we will not go into freaking, uh, what, Kazakhstan? What? The domino effect? It's gonna 
it's gonna slap Kazakhstan. Okay, so I guess Kazakhstan is also having a little bit of problems as of recently. Oh, and I guess this partly has to do something with the gas price hike. I am the USA, defender of the freedom. See, that is nice, but can you pay me for bananas I plant for you, por favor? Workers demanding rights? Now that sounds like commie to me. Uh, Okay. Nothing that good old democracy can't fix. Yes, this definitely looks approved by the FDA. Ah, oh, yes, the Euro Times. Potato is no potato gone. Hey, these balls not really handling the news that well. Latvia crying, why are you taking my one only love away? Ireland also has bad memories of potatoes leaving. Random Dutch and Danish words spoken between each other. Oh no, not more. Wait, have we just spoken in perfect German? Oh, nine. I guess the joke here is that there's a stereotype that the Danish sound like you're speaking with a potato in your throat, and that Dutch is basically just like knockoff German. So no potato means no special language, and no special language means you must join Deutschland. It's actually kind of crazy how often just language alone can keep smaller countries alive. Hey, Kazakh, I has American soda, but it looks like vodka. You want? Okay. Kazakh, you want to try America burger? Yum meal. Sure. Kazakh, I got new phone. This is portable from America. You want one? Russia, I, I think you have obsession for America. Of course I not. What have you thinking that? Cut to their weird fan fiction and fan art of them like having a family and children together. Russia is a country humans fan confirmed. Soy just South American nobody poop hole. Nobody care about me. Pero what about neighbors? Brazil on fire. Argentina with currency problems. Paraguay who can't into development. Yeah, you know what Uruguay? I think you're doing Doing just fine. Uruguay also consumes some of the most anime in all of Latin America, so their future is clearly bright. <sighs> that felt like much long nap. W where am I? Why so dark? You're dead. I'm dead? You is died. Death is you. No alive, no more. You had life. No more life. Poof gone. So this is after life? The pathway that taking you there, you go on my boat. But it costs payment. Best payment to do is submarines. I know it's you, Grease. Ah, I thought we were convincing. I spend many euros on set and costume. You spent all these euros to bamboozle Germany, and yet you could have just used those euros to pay back Germany. Obviously, this is a reference to Greek mythology. This dude was very spooky looking. 2018, England be like, next year will be my year. 2019, next year will be my year. 2021, 2021 again, 2021. I, I just give up. England's been having some pretty bad luck with that whole World Cup thing as of recently. Oh, but this is making references to more than just that rugby, Formula One championships, even Eurovision Song Contest. Spain looks at the mirror. We were once great. France looks at the mirror. I missed the first empire. UK, why are you looking at Mirror, because I'm still the greatest, you wanks. I mean, uh, I guess if they want to just keep pretending to live in the past, we need to talk, yes. As we saw earlier, Kazakhstan literally on fire. Ah! Russia saved the day with their fire extinguisher. Ugh, thank you. You really be day saver. It really is just unfortunate that fuel prices so suddenly and for no explanation rise so tall. Yes. So unexplainable, says Russia. Hee <laughs> hee, a little bit of sweat. Just act like nothing happened. Canada, something horrible's happened. A a a a. Falklands, is Argentina invading you again? No, the problem is South Georgia. He's gone crazy. He's committing cannibalism, and I don't know what to do. This is horrible. Meanwhile, in South Georgia, bro, I really liked this sandwich. I don't have words. This is the Cooked Islands, and this is South Georgia, but their full name is actually and the South Sandwich Islands. So they were eating themselves. Man, the Cook Islands must be a really good chef, though. Finally, the new year has arrived. And I'm the first clay that can into the new year, which means I must... Oh, no. Don't make fun of everybody. Celebrate with big party. Oh, okay, okay. Celebrate my friends and eat many food. Wait. Who am I trying to fool? My friends are in other places, and I'm here alone. What's the point of being first clay to have New Year if I have no one to celebrate with me? You are not alone in this. So do you want to celebrate with me? <gasps> Tonga! I guess so. I see this as the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Same feeling. Happy New Year. I like when some of these less popular balls get some attention. Taiwan at the door. Knock, knock. You wanted to see me? See, come in. You know, you was very kind, invite me. Also, nobody is want see me. They all rather want be friends with... <gasps> China! They were behind the door the whole time. Communist mainland. You betrayed me? Not a personal, compadre. He just made better offer than you. Hold the frick up as the USA busts through the door. You're abandoning poor Taiwan, and just for your own gain? What kind of country does that? China put down the axe. Put it down. Chirp, chirp. Wait, why are y'all looking at me like that? In the ancient days of the 1970s, China telling USA to stop recognizing Taiwan? Never. It's me and my buddy over here, together against communism. If you support glorious, true Taiwan, and we'll help you against fake communist 
Soviet. Yes, also will do industry work very, very cheap. <gasps> uh oh. In my defense, it was a really good deal. Invest in Nicaragua, please. Uh, yes, you were, you know, a little bit less on the totem pole before Taiwan, but now, now you're up there. Now we really care. I guess that really did happen. Nicaragua recently revoked its diplomatic relations to Taiwan. They might have got a little bit of cash for that. And big thanks to I stole Drew's pet dog. I love Mark. Drew's Arab sugar daddy. Luxembourg lover. King Corey. Drew's Argentinian grandpa. Canadian Union. Dalton D. Bring back Poland. Barnsky W. Aryan After Hours. A fat Norwal. Alfonso M. Ivan Lima. Majestic Unicorn. Max Cooper. Mick Blorf. Mind Brothers 999. Robert Philip e. R. And Ride the Pie. 